观众朋友，晚上好！欢迎您收看《生活百分百》节目。如果有人告诉你说，他只接受了十到十二个礼拜的职业培训，那三五年之后呢，他的年薪收入就已经达到八九万甚至九十万这样子的呃 level 的时候，您会不会相信呢？在今天的节目中，我们请到的嘉宾就要来跟您介绍一下他自己是如何作为一个新移民，在这里成功的职业转型。并且呢，他今天要把这个成功的秘诀要介绍给大家。那这位嘉宾的名字就是 Mikhail Pornov。Michael, thank you. Welcome to our show. Oh, my pleasure. 呃、uh, ，那 Michael 呢，他是呃， uh, 原来是从苏维埃在呃一九九零年的时候移民到美国的。刚来的时候，他也是非常的辛苦，作为新新的移民，呃，做了一些，就说是跟他原来的。呃，职业啊，和他的学历很不相符合的一些职业。那么后来他是如何的成功实现自己的美国梦的呢 ？So Michael, you know, you you were like a, a scientist and engineer、yes. in a previous Soviet Union,、mm -hmm. and you came here. You have to be like、uh, doing the job as a security guard, but then you know now you are so successful. And how did you make it from you came here in 1990, and then you were able to、uh, You know, triple your income in a few years. Bought your house in Mountain View, and then a couple years later, bought your house in Los Angeles. Tell us, how did you do that? Um, well, it didn't happen in one day, and I did go through lots of struggle. And primarily, the struggle was with myself, and my you know attitude change or you know attitude adjustment paradigm switch, and、uh, struggle with、uh, lack of、uh, English. Skills. 哦，他说，因为一开始的话呢，最主要就是说，一个自己英文不够好，另外呢，就是说自己的观念呢不能够马上转变过来，所以也是挣扎了好一番。Then what happened? Uh, it just accident. So I failed in、uh, enjoying things which I planned to enjoy, and I、uh, realized some change is needed. And then friend came to help and. It helped me, and he said, "Listen, here is a book on C programming. Okay, read the book." And I, I am an engineer, you know? and、uh, I learned C. And the friend introduced me to the company where he worked. Okay, 那他说有一个很偶尔的机会，那一个朋友呢就介绍他去个公司。当时呢，他自己觉得有呃工程师的。背景嘛，那他在学那个 C plus 的语言，他觉得说，哦，那很好，这样子有一个呃，可以接近这个高科技的机会。So did you become engineer? Oh yes, it was about engineering job, but、um, neither myself nor friend realized、uh, it will be software testing job. They asked me, would you like to do testing? I said, guys, whatever you want me to do, just tell me what you mean. OK， 那他说，呃，他的朋友呢，介绍他去的公司的时候，并不知道，实际上老板呢，想要叫啊、呃、，Michael 做的工作呢，叫 software 呃 testing，、yes. 就是软件的一个测试这样子的一个工作。So， 嗯、um, ，So， So， What happened？ You started with a software testing career， and then， 呃、uh,。A couple years later, you will have your own software testing training schools. And what happened in between?、Um, there was a recession, and、uh, so IT was growing as a field at that time, but it was shaky. So I lost a job once, and I looked at the job market first time. You lost a job as a software the, testing. As a software tester, tester. The, co the company collapsed. Okay. In, in one year. Okay. 那他说当时呢也是呃大萧条，经济大萧条的时候，那是在九十年代初，所以他第一个软体测试的工作做了一年之后呢，就失去了这个工作，就被 lay off 了。So first company paid me twenty eight thousand a year, and second company paid me thirty six. Oh, okay. 第一家公司呢付了他呃、uh, ，the first company paid you twenty eight. Yeah. 第一家公司付了他一年是两万八千的年薪。那第二家公司呢付了他三万六千的年薪。And within the second company, they gave me a raise. It became forty. So that was the second year. Second year. It、okay. was second year. 那第二家公司给了他三万六的年薪之后呢，然后又给了他就是呃、uh, 一个提薪到了。呃、uh, ，40k， 40k， 四万的年薪，这是第二年。And then there was another layoff.、Oh、and and、uh, well, and just like what's happening now. Well, it's similar, yeah. yeah. And then、uh, I get, went to the job market again, and I was amazed how the job market changed in one year. 
instead of being practically nothing, it became so intensive, uh, 10 times, 15 times more intensive in terms of number of positions, uh, interviews, and uh, so... Uh, what do you mean intensive? Intensive means uh, first time it was five ads posted in a week. Next uh, time it was like 15, 20 a day. Oh, a lot of jobs. Jobs. Okay. Just one year. Okay. Then he said that later on, the second company was also laid off. Laid off after he went to look for work, he found that the market had a huge change. There was a lot of opportunities. Everyone was looking for work. So did you uh, become a uh, software tester again? Yes. Okay. Oh, so absolutely. That's I, I didn't have any reason to, to change. And, uh, How then much did they pay you? Uh, it was uh, thirty-five dollars per hour. Mm -hmm. Next, next job, mm -hmm. and uh, I can tell you that's how much a, a year. Thirty-five dollars. Close to seventy k. Oh wow! Uh, 那第三个工作的话，他去找的时候就是呃，给了他一个小时是三十五美金的薪水，那也就是一年相当于差不多七万的年薪。That almost doubled. Oh yes, at that time I purchased a condo, a two bedroom. Uh, two baths, uh, 1,200 square feet in Mountain View, and the cost of the condo was 130,000. Oh, uh, uh, so, you know, $70,000 buy you a lot of things. Today, you, yes. can, you can buy a, a condo at Mountain, in Mountain View no, for two bedrooms. Well, that same condo now costs like four fifty. dollars so. Okay, now that same condo is going to cost about $40,000, 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 and it was a recession, and there was an influx of people from Soviet Union at that time, edu very educated. Um, my first batch of students was like 20% PhDs. Oh, wow. So, all from Russia? All from Russia. With, okay. I, I was teaching in Russian for the first two years. Okay. Now, he said that there were a lot of people who knew about the same background, including the PhD, from the former Soviet Union country. They were all from Russia. 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 They were all from 创办人是 Michael Pronov。那他自己呢？今天跟大家分享的他成功的故事，就是如何他找到了一个非常好的转型的机会，从而呢使得他实现了他的美国梦。那 Michael 他在开始从事 QA 呃 software testing 的时候呢，他第一年只赚了两万八，但是四年之后就赚到了有八万的年薪，所以这还是基本上是二十年前的事了。好 ，So um so Michael。What kind of people go to your school for training? Um, I would say most of them have college degrees, uh, any kind, but a very broad spectrum of mm. college degrees. Yes, so it is not, not must, but mm -hmm. it is highly uh, desirable. But people who really have passion for career change, number one, and who do have user skills. They don't have to be programmers, but have to be good users of computers. 呃，就是说，并不是说这个大学学位是一定是必须您拥有的，但至少呢，您有这个热情，有学习的热情。那同时呢，就是你可能呢也比较喜欢用电脑，因为你是作为一个用户来测试这个电脑的软件。So what kind of, uh, tell us some students, you know, what did they do before and how did they go to your school and become a uh, QA testing? Uh, um, we have people of uh, all ways of life. Um, for example, I remember one gentleman, his name was Yefim, it's Russian, Russian Jewish name. Mm -hmm. So he was 56 years old. Uh, Yes, he was a mechanical engineer uh, for the last 30 years, maybe, and um, he didn't speak much of English. Oh, he was not much of English. He was a mechanic, a machine. And uh, he came to the school, and I, I really had a doubt uh, how far he can go, especially b because of his lack of communication skills. But uh, he got a job within two weeks, literally. 
uh, and he was hired by a company called Autodesk. Oh, okay. 他说这位先生,他一开始的时候,Michael自己也觉得有点好像心里不是很踏实,觉得他能够怎么样子胜任这个工作,但是这位先生他两个礼拜就找到了这个工作,而且是被一家很大的公司叫Autodesk雇用的